Hi everyone and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. If you're new here, this is the place where we break down Salesforce concepts into simple practical lessons that you can actually use Today, we're diving into a really powerful topic, App Exchange. This is Salesforce's very own marketplace for apps, solutions, and services. Think of it like the App Store, but built specifically for Salesforce users. By the end of this session, you'll be able to explain what App Exchange is, understand how listings are organized, know how pricing works, and most importantly, learn how to develop a smart App Exchange strategy based on business requirements. So let's get started. Imagine this, you're the new Salesforce admin at Ursa Major Solar, a renewable energy company. You've just rolled out Sales Cloud and adoption is going great. Well, mostly. Most reps are thriving in Salesforce, but a few are still scribbling notes on paper. You want complete adoption and to get there, you need data like who's logging in, how often, and what features they're using. Building something custom is possible, but you're already balancing multiple projects and doing it manually. Forget it. This is where App Exchange comes in. Your shortcut to finding ready made solutions that extend Salesforce functionality without reinventing the wheel. Think of App Exchange like solar panels at Ursa Major. Panels extend the power of sunlight, just like App Exchange extends the power of Salesforce is the official marketplace where you'll find apps, components, and integrations. Don't have time to build a feature from scratch? Chances are there's already an app for it. Want to connect Salesforce with a third-party service? You'll likely find that too. And because it's an official Salesforce marketplace, everything is built with trust and transparency in mind. But App Exchange isn't just a store. It's a community powered by Salesforce partners, admins, developers and customers, people like you, with thousands of listings, millions of installations, and tons of peer reviews, you're never really starting from scratch. On App Exchange, you'll find two main types of listings, solutions and consultants. Solutions are apps or add-ons that plug directly into Salesforce. For example, maybe you want a survey tool that integrates seamlessly with Service Cloud. There's likely an app for that. Consultants, on the other hand, are experts who help you design, build, and implement custom solutions, perfect for complex business challenges. If you're not sure what you need, App Exchange has features like Explore to help you discover solutions by industry, business challenge, or product. You'll also find curated collections, which group listings that go well together. Here's some good news. Many App Exchange solutions are completely free. Salesforce Labs, for example, offers free apps built by Salesforce employees that have become extremely popular. If it's a paid app, providers often let you try before you buy so you can test whether it really solves your problem. Pricing models can vary. Some are one-time purchases while others use subscriptions. The important thing is there's something to suit just about every budget. Let's go back to Ursa Major's challenge. You want a solution to track adoption data, like login frequency, and ideally present it in charts that managers will love. To avoid wasting time, you need a clear strategy. Here are the key things to consider. Solution type. Do you need an app that's quick to install or a consultant for something more complex? Functionality. What are the must-haves? versus the nice to haves budget free is great but are you open to paid if it's the right fit stakeholders who needs this data and what's their preference for visuals reports or charts testing always test in a sandbox or developer edition organization before installing in production technical considerations make sure it's compatible with your salesforce edition and features for us a major the best choice is a free app that tracks adoption, works with Enterprise Edition and Lightning, and produces visual reports for managers. That's a strategy that saves time and gets results. Now let's check your understanding with a couple of quiz questions from this module. Question one, what is App Exchange? A, a vibrant community powered by admins, developers, and Salesforce partners. 
the unofficial Salesforce store for solutions and services. C, a place to connect with pre-built solutions for business challenges you face. D, A and B, E, A and C. The correct answer is E, A and C. App Exchange is both a vibrant community and a trusted marketplace where you can connect with pre-built solutions for real business challenges. Question two, what is important to keep in mind when you develop an app exchange strategy? A. Think about whether you want a free or paid solution. B. Have an environment where you can test the solution, like a sandbox or developer edition org. C. Avoid meeting with stakeholders because they might slow you down. D. A and B. E. A and C. The correct answer is D. A and B. You should always consider your budget and just as importantly have a safe environment to test before rolling anything into production. So, to recap, App Exchange is the official Salesforce marketplace where you'll find apps, solutions, and consultants to extend your CRM. It's community driven, packed with free and paid options. And most importantly, it works best when you approach it with a clear strategy. That's how you, like our Ursa Major admin, can quickly find the perfect solution without building everything from scratch. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the Declarative Academy, and drop your questions or experiences with App Exchange in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next session. Until then, Keep learning, keep building, and keep making Salesforce work for you.